Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to interface 16 cross 2 LCD with 8051. But before going into the mess, let's start with a brief note on 16 cross 2 LCD. So a 16 cross 2 LCD is a liquid crystal display which can display 32 characters at a time in 2 rows. 16 characters in each row, hence it is called 16 cross 2 LCD. Each character in this LCD is of size. 5 cross 7 pixel matrix this matrix differs for different LCD modules there are 14 pins in this LCD modules you can see 14 pins are there in this LCD the first one VSS pin it is the ground pin the second one is VDD or VCC pin which is power supply pin of 5 volts then the third one is VEE pin for adjusting the contrast commonly attached to the potentiometer then coming to RS pin it is very important pin and is used to write or display data to the LCD this pin has to be high when writing the data to LCD it's called register select pin RW pin is the read write pin for reading data it should be high for writing data it should be low then coming to E pin, the enable pin, it's for starting or enabling the module. A high to low pulse of about 450 nanoseconds is given to this pin. Now coming to the data pins, D0 to D7 pins are the data pins for giving data which is meant to be displayed. In the later part, I will explain you how the characters are displayed by taking the reference of code. Now let's start with the understanding of circuit, circuit diagram and its connections. The components required for this project are 8089C51 microcontroller, 16 cross 2 LCD display, 11.0592 micro megahertz crystal, os crystal oscillator, 2 capacitors of 33 microfarad and a capacitor of 10 microfarad, 1 register of 10 k ohms and a push button for resetting the microcontroller so now coming to the actual connections made in the circuit the crystal oscillator along with two 33 microfarad ca capacitors are connected to XTAL1 and XTAL2 which will provide the system clock to the microcontroller the reset pin is pulled low with the help of 10k ohm register 10 microfarad capacitor and a push button. You can reset the microcontroller using these connections. The data pins of L LCD D0 to D7 uh, they are connected to port 1. RS and RS pin, E pin and RW pins are connected to port 2 in their res respective pins. A uh, 10 k ohm register, a uh, 10 k ohm port can be used to adjust the contrast of LCD which is not necessary for property simulation. So that was how uh, we under uh, that was about understanding the circuit. So now let's get down get down to the code. Including the header file which is a reg51.h defining the port p1 as LCD defining the variables rs rw e pin which are connected to port 2 in the respective pins then defining some user defined functions then defining the strings which we will be displaying on lcd here i will be displaying these strings interfacing lcd and with 8051 uh, you can display anything you want you want like as per your as per your project now uh, defining the delay function to produce some delay using for loop defining the lcd command function that is cmd function using which we set up the lcd before actual display so the codes like uh, the code the commands which we use to display the which we use to set up the lcd are 38. The hex code 38 is used to set 2 lines and 5 cross 7 matrix of LCD. Then the hex code C is used to switch on the display and the cursor will be off. Then the hex code 1 is used to clear the display screen. 
then the fourth one at is used to set the cursor at first line and the code c c0 is used to set the cursor at second line so these are some of the commands that sets up the lcd using this cmd function now while setting the cmd setting the uh, while setting the lcd with these commands we have to keep enable pin high for some time rs pin low for a uh, low then rw pin low so the and that that's how we set up the lcd now we shall go with the main function setting up of lcd is done with these commands setting up of uh, sorry cursor cursor is done with at like we, we want to display the character we want to display the string interfacing lcd in the first line of lcd so we have to set the cursor at at using this command so we will be displaying the characters using for loop for this to happen we will take each character of the string and we will display it one by one using l data function this is fun this is the function which is used to display the characters on lcd so the first element of the string is i so this element is passed to the function l data as a parameter while displaying this element we have to keep enable pin high for some time then keeping the rs pin high and keeping the rw pin low so that's how element gets displayed similarly this procedure is followed till all the elements of string are displayed and this is a matter of seconds in the same way we will display another string which is with 8051 in the second line of lcd which will be starting with 0 cross c0 by setting we have to set the cursor at the second line with uh, using this command so the displaying of characters is same as i explained so that's all, that's all about understanding the code now we shall create the hex file i will build the target first so the hex file will be created hex file is created as lcd.hex that's how i named now i will import this hex file to 8051 yes uh, so lcd.hex has been imported i will click the okay button now now starting the simulation yes you can see the lc and the characters the strings which we wanted to display has been displayed on the lcd so you can display as per your wish uh, the strings as per your project you can display the strings so thank you that's all how we interface the lcd with 8051 thank you for watching this video thank you so much